when I was a kid, I was drawing a lot. My brother, he was always into drawing. Every time he was drawing, he had me draw with him, and I just kind of kept with it and really liked it. And we're always reading comic books and stuff like that, so that's always been a huge influence on my style. I'd sit around and draw Spider-Man all day and stuff like that. When I was in the first grade, I designed the cover for my uh, school yearbook, which is pretty cool. And I was always entering in little art competitions and usually doing pretty well and stuff like that. So I knew I definitely had something there. Um, I've always enjoyed drawing and I definitely want to end up doing something with drawing for my career choice eventually. In high school, uh, I met my best friend and uh, he knew I was pretty good at drawing and stuff and he asked me if I ever done graffiti and I was like, I don't know what that is. So then he gave me a spray can and that's when I knew like that was the style and that's the medium I liked. It was aerosol definitely and I just stuck with it and I picked it up really quick and uh, that's all I really want to do is just spray paint. I write history. I've been writing that since about 2011. Uh, I was born and raised here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, probably end up being here my whole life. Love it here. Uh, my style is mostly based on comic books and graphic novels, stuff like that. That's all I did as a kid was read comic books and draw out of them. And just, it's helped me a lot with um, figuring out how uh, different compositions and colors and things like that go together. And it's got really cool, like, bold lettering and stuff like that, which I really like, and it influences my graffiti style a lot. Some of my favorite comics growing up were Spider-Man, definitely is my favorite. My favorite villain of all time is Venom. And then after that's probably Carnage and Anti-Venom and Toxin. Uh, Spawn, definitely, he's really cool. Any graphic novels pretty much based on, like, vampires or anything dark and sinister and gory. Greg Ticini, he's one of my favorite graphic artists. He did the comic book Low, which is what I'm working on in the back here. Everything he does is really loose and it's kind of aggressive and a style that I really like and I've been enjoying I'm studying a lot lately. I got involved with uh, ISI a couple years back. I'm not exactly sure how that happened, but I think they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do an event for Beauty Bar off the wall. That went pretty well, and ever since then, they've been helping me do art shows and get me involved with other little projects and help me make a little money here and there and doing what I really like to do, which is spray painting. ISI asked me if I wanted to do a little project for Greenleaf Farms, painting their grow tents. And it's been really fun. They let us have free range of whatever we want to paint and just let us express ourselves. And I think they're coming out really well. You can find me on my Instagram at Urban Legends. It's one word with an S. And that's pretty much about the only way you can find me on social media. I've never painted a grow tent before, but I've painted other tents. I think it was just a pretty cool idea that I was going to be painting on a you know, a grow tent for marijuana, and it just, it almost adds something to that particular strain, you know, that there's some, like, artists, you know, blood, sweat, and tears went into the, the tent that they're growing in.